Okay guys, today we are gonna be changing the lives of our guard geese forever. Look, it's the two-headed hydra. You see, until now, these geese have not been able to go outside. They've been training to be guard geese with this barred rock flock of chickens. It's important that they grow up together at a very young age so that the geese believe that the chickens are their family and they are part of the flock. Earlier in the spring, we hatched out a bunch of goslings and we acquired a baby chick flock of some barred rock. And now we kept these new goslings and the new barred rock chicks in a brooder then we graduated them to this coop, and they've been growing up together, living together ever since. And it's just about that time now that uh, we need to separate them, and the geese are getting a little bit too big, and there's not a whole lot of room in there. And they need their own space to be able to get nasty. But first, let me take you back a few days ago where I got this little project started. Of course, I had to hammer in the spikes because it's easier than putting in cement posts, of course. Now this little hut that I'm building for the guard geese is only going to be 4 feet by 8 feet. So it's only going to house one or two geese and it's not meant to have a whole flock in there. You okay, Molly girl? You okay? I'm just using some pressure treated deck boards and I already had it in my workshop, so why not use it? They're pressure treated because, you know, the geese are wet and they poop a lot and you don't want the wood to get rotten very quickly. So pressure treated is my choice. Now, although geese and chickens, waterfowl and poultry have very similar food needs, they have very different water needs. And I'm a believer that waterfowl and poultry do not make good roommates because of the water situation. So this is what I'm doing. I got a platform made here, but I did have to buy this plywood and I bought a bunch of two by sixes and two by fours. Those are just regular spruce because they're not gonna be too exposed to the elements. They're a lot cheaper than buying pressure treated. And I'm cheating a little because I'm using the back of our cleaning station. So that's gonna be one wall. And what I'm gonna do is follow the angle of the roof. So it's really gonna save on materials. And the fact is there's five geese and they go in and out pretty soon they won't be able to fit through that little opening into the coop and like, look at this it's making the chicken run really nasty fuzzy are you taking a poop in my new bird yard what are you doing you're stinking up the place fuzzy likes the new platform hey buddy hey buddy you feel better after that poop <laughs> good boy huh
blue paint on you, buddy. You better watch out, okay? Okay guys, let's just take stock of what's going on here. <laughs> I've pretty much finished the structure of this goose booth. Yes, it's a security booth, goose style, here at the Hidden Spring Farm. So it's gonna be the security goose booth, <laughs> hence the security blue color. <laughs> I framed in a door just so that I can have access to change the bedding and collect eggs and things like that. The run itself is eight feet long and 10 feet wide. And I've left myself an opening here so that I can make a door so that I can enter the run to change their water and clean up and stuff like that. And I can also let the goose out because these are the guard geese for the chicken yard. And I'm using our cleaning station basically as the one wall. I will have to do something down here, maybe with some fencing inside the ground to stop any serious predator from digging. But really, these are geese that we're talking about, and there's not a whole lot of predators around here who can actually take a goose. Maybe a coyote if they're desperate, maybe a bobcat, you know, if they're desperate. But something small that'll fit under there is not going to take a goose but i am going to protect it because i don't want any weasels or fisher cats or raccoons digging in or anything like that it's going to be this goat type fencing that you can buy at home depot nothing fancy
So all I gotta do today is get a door on the side. That's my entrance door. I'm gonna get them some straw and I'm gonna get their water bowls over here and a food bowl over here. And we're gonna get these geese moved today into their new digs. Maggie, you checking out the new goose house? You guys watching me? You watching me build your new house? Okay, that's okay. I gotta get one of you. I gotta get one of you. You know, the geese go nuts when you're getting close to them. When they're adults, they're quite aggressive during breeding season, but for the most part, they're okay. But you see, I picked this guy up. Look at him. He's just chill. He's not even doing nothing. You know, like he's, he's pushing his head down. Come on, look at the camera, bud. Look at the camera, buddy. <laughs> Here you go, bud. Okay, guys. There's a two for one. Look, it's the two headed Hydra. <laughs> As you can see, the five geese are here, but they're not very comfortable. They don't know that this is their new house. There's the entrance to the new security goose booth, because these are the security guard geese for the chicken yard. <laughs> now, we're not gonna be keeping all five of these geese in this security booth. There's only gonna be two geese kept here. Hopefully I can distinguish one male and one female and those two will be the guard geese for the chicken yard. The rest will go over with the other geese beside the barn. So what do you guys think of this security booth? <laughs> security goose booth. I build it pretty strong. It's gonna last for a good long while anyways. This is not exactly the height that I typically like to build things because I'm six foot three and I hate bending over 
and then sometimes you know you stand up too too far and you bang your head i can't stand that i do it all the time so i like to build all of my structures for my height but this one just needed to continue off of that cleaning station and by the time i followed the same pitch of the roof it just turns out that it's a little bit low i'm gonna have to crouch down on this one to let the geese out into the chicken yard in the future i made this wide enough to you know the distance between the booth and the tree so that I could get my tractor straight in with the bucket whenever I have to clean out the inside, you know? So I try to think of as many things as I can. Hope you enjoyed the video, folks, and hope you get a kick out of this comical security goose booth that I built. And you can check out this other video if you haven't seen it. This is when I built the goose caboose for the geese that free range with our ducks in the orchard. Thanks for watching.